Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this video is a special video. I'm gonna introduce a transmitter receiver that's really affordable because it's less expensive and also it covers 50 nanometers range for controlling RC items. So let's get started. I knew that if people are struggling to buy your transmitter receiver because most transmitters has 2.4 GHz transmitters are a little bit expensive and also it needs more connections to uh, do work that just like programming or do some other things. So this is a pretty 4 33 MHz transmitter and receiver. It supports 4 channels. Probably that's the best thing and it's so adorable because it's less expensive we could get at four dollars or five dollars i bought this at three dollars or fifty cents a few months ago so here i think you can buy at four dollars i just given all the links to buy even from amazon and some other chinese websites and some other websites so let's check it out the transmitter the transmitter is pretty small and it comes with a small aerial then when you slide down you can see four switches there and the transmitter powered up with a 12 volt battery so you don't need to buy a separate battery for this stuff so this is our receiver we have seven pins in the receiver starting from the top this one is a ground pin or this is the negative terminal then following the second one is the positive pin and we have the rest of the four pins are the positive terminals of the channels that's the first channel starting at D0, then D1 is the second channel, D2 is the third channel, and fourth or the final pin is uh, D3. That's the final one. And we have one more pin available, Do doesn't matter, don't care about the last one. So the first one is the common negative or the ground pin, then the first or the only one positive pin for connecting the battery 5 volt and rust 4 pins for the channel connection so let me show you how to connect a battery and how to connect an LED bulb in the circuit as I mentioned earlier we have only one negative connection in the circuit so you're supposed to connect the minus 5 volt on the first pin as well as the negative terminals of all the components you can just try the connections from this circuit basically we have common negative then positive 5 volt then rest of the four pins are channel pins that supposed to connect the positive nodes of the component just like the positive node of the led bulb you can just avoid the final pin so the only limitation of the circuit we have only one common negative connection and i have connected three more leds here on all channels so let's try it out one then the next one then the third one is the yellow color then the fourth one is the green again so this is all about the transmitter and receiver one more thing i have connected just now that's an electric buzzer so when you connect an electric buzzer the result will be like this i knew you are trying to make a draw with this stuff actually it's possible to make but uh, it's not possible to make the same uh, converter using the same converter which means I used a 9 to 5 volt converter using a voltage regulator so probably I cannot uh, generate or I cannot rotate a motor with the output voltage actually this output voltage is just 5 volt but the current I think uh, there is a variation in the current so I have to use a proper uh, 9 to 5 volt converter or otherwise I have to buy a battery itself so basically I cannot make a drum with the same circuit because I'm using a 9 to 5 volts uh, converter and theoretically it's possible so stay tuned for next video I really struggling or trying to make this up so you can subscribe my channel if you like the video just give me a huge like and subscribe my channel 
I hope you enjoyed. We can see on the next video. I will try to make a drone or an aircraft with the same stuff. So stay tuned. See you next time.